Stockton, California, Port City, Mudville, but to some, a fighting city. And in that fighting city, there's someone special. And that someone is Diesel Stokes. And like every other young man with a dream, with passion, with the desire to be great, there's structure. And inside the Stokes house, that's one thing they're known for. Diesel's day starts every day with the voice of his father. Eat. Time to get up, Dees. Let's go. Let's go. Time to get up. So make sure we go ahead and weigh ourselves once we're done. All right. <laughs> what did you think about? I knew Diesel was special when, uh, actually when he was first born, uh, when the nurses was doing his vitals and they was turning him over in the incubator. Um, he happened to grab the incubator with his left hand and he held onto it. And the nurse was like, we had never seen that before. He's so strong. And he really, his hands was shaking and she had to pry his hands off. And I said to my wife, I was like, baby, you know what he did? He just grabbed the incubator and he was shaking it. Um, I knew he was a warrior. So I knew whatever he did, man, he was going to be, he's going to be, he's going to be a, he's going to be the man in it. 89.4. Just 89.6 right there. Mm -hmm. City in America, when the sun rises, people are off to work, children are off to school. In the Stokes house, things are a little bit different. Mrs. Stokes, wife, mother, queen, she sets her kids up to study and she begins preparing breakfast for her family. So one of the things that have been a true blessing is that my husband is a Marine and that because of his service, we are able to homeschool our kids. We're able to travel. We're able to give our kids experiences that maybe we wouldn't have been able to give them right away if things were different. He strained his eyes in the direction from which the reports had come, but it was like trying to see through a blanket. He leaped upon the rail, so he was on the rail. Those other ones back. Okay, please. Okay, this is you. Huh? Are you here? Okay. So Shelly can catch how your defense, how we train for your defense when we're when we're at just sitting sitting around the house. How quick your reflexes are because you always think I'm coming for you. Hmm. He looks like it. Can you taste the cinnamon? No. In there? No. I put a whole cinnamon stick in there. It was like really. Did you taste the cinnamon? Yeah, I taste it. So we drove from New Jersey to Baltimore to see uh, Javante Tate Davis parade. And when we told him he was going to be there, um, he really didn't believe it. But when, when we woke him up, once we got to Baltimore, and he uh, happened to see you know all the people there, and when I happened to meet Coach Calvin and Coach Calvin, uh, Coach Calvin, uh, Javante Takes Davis, lead uh, second, shows around the entire uh, recreation center. Then, it, you know, it got real for him. And uh, when he realized that he's going to meet his favorite boxer, he, he, he damn near came to tears. He really did. It was like, man, I can't believe you, you taking me to see Tank. So he was really emotional. But it, when he met Tank, he barely had any words to say, man. I mean, he was saying all the stuff where he's going to say, he couldn't even say anything. He was like awestruck. So, you know, he was really happy to meet Tank. For many young men, just having a goal, 
just having a dream, that's just one part of it. The work ethic, being able to know where you're going, looking towards your future, having the support. But one thing that's important is knowing your past and where you've come from. First memory of Diesel Boxing was when he was about 11 and a half months and he was boxing, the, he was punching the garage door in the kitchen. He would hit everything, garage door, refrigerator, cabinets, anything that was his height, he would hit it. So he's all he's just been throwing hands for forever. When I see my son in the ring boxing, whether it's sparring or he's competing for something, the things that go through my head are just you being safe, you good, you, sh you showcasing your talent, but... I also have moments where I'm in awe looking at him doing a grown man's sport, looking at how smooth and how just, I'm always in awe. I'm in awe what he does and I love seeing him there and it makes me, it gives me butterflies, also gives me nerves. And then I'm also thinking, you better throw that jab. and words of encouragement for you is to continue to be who you are, be real, never um, stray away from what you, your principles, what you stand on, and just know that me and your mom are doing our best to create you into a young man that's gonna be a man one day, and it's gonna be a father and potentially a great person. Um, I just wanted you to know that I love you. I'm always gonna be here for you. And uh, if you ever need anything, you know, I'm always, always going to be here. But most importantly, just just continue to be yourself and be the young man that I know you are and just know that I love you. All right. You know, a lot of people tell me they see me, you know, when he boxes. Um, I see a lot, you know, specifically how he, how he moves around, how he carries his hands. But I think the most thing that I see in him is his attitude, you know, like before he's back here and getting the ring or when he's training, you know, his seriousness, the calm before the storm. Um, he's really laid back, but then, you know, when that bell rings, he gets amped up, he gets hyped. So that's why I see the most is, you know, his demeanor. that now I'm telling you you can see everything that's coming because you're right there it's like boom 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 you can feel it you ain't got to look at him your eyes can be closed and you feel him take his hands off you you know that he's about to throw something mm -hmm. so you have to speed beat him to the punch that's why, that's why I say punch when he punch because when you punch 
the exact same time or in transition, you're gonna hit him. It's gonna be like boom, 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 boom. You're fast, man. Yep. You're fast. You're blessed with quickness and speed. You're gonna be good. Defensive yep. drills, all right? All right. Good. Good. Yep. Gotcha. Diesel, Papa, happy 12th birthday. You're 12, going on 35. But I love you. I love everything about you. When I had you, God gave me everything I wanted in a boy. You are charming. You are intelligent. You're athletic. You're loving. You're a jokester. You're everything I want. I'm so proud of you. Um, I'm proud of everything that you want to do. I thank you for allowing me to grow as a mom and be the best mom to you. And I wish you a very, very happy, happy 12th birthday. Hey, Deez, this is your dad. My birthday wish for you is to, for you to continue with your growth process. Um, you know, you're about to be 12 years old. So 12 for you, you're actually kind of like on the 16 level, you know. I've always had you doing things in an advanced way. But just know that uh, whatever you strive for and you desire for, you can be the best at. And just know that education is key for you. Uh, I want you to go for it, you know, and, and we're gonna learn, we're gonna do the things that we need to do when it comes to getting to the nationals and going to that next level when it comes to boxing. But most importantly, um, just know that we're gonna be here for you. So I love you, son, and um, happy birthday.